What's up, YouTube? It's Friday, which means we're going to get a sneak peek of what's coming to next week in Destiny. So smash that like button. We're also going to be talking about what Xur has today. Next week in Destiny, it's going to be the final week of the Season of the Witch. The Nightfall will be the highest battleground moon, and the Crucible will have zone control and mayhem. The Rotators will be the Root of Nightmares, so you can farm the Conditional Finality, like I need to. We also have the Dungeon, the Spire of the Watcher. The exotic mission is the Vox Obscura, and the bonuses next week are for Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard ranks. Makes sense since the last week of the season. We're also getting a Black Friday sale. Destiny 2 expansions are up to 67% off through November 28th, so keep that in mind. You can find Xur this week over at Nessus at Watcher's Grave right about here on this tree. Once you've located Xur, you're good to go. This week, Xur has the Colony Grenade Launcher. I'm pretty sure this is trash. Then for our hunters, we got Stompies with a total of 65 with 18 resilience and 18 discipline. Not bad. Hydraulic boosters, buff sprints, slide, and jumping. Up next, we got the Worm God Caress for my Titans with a total of 65 with 29 recovery and 18 discipline. Burning Fist, melee kills increase melee damage. And for our Warlocks, we got the Fell Winter's Helm. With a total of 64 with 20 intellect and 18 recovery. Warlord's End. Powered melee kills create a burst of energy that weakens nearby enemies. That seems very good for PvE. And for the exotic weapon this week, we got the Hawk Moon with surplus, so don't even waste your time. And for the legendary weapons, we got the False Promises Auto Rifle with dynamic sway reduction and rampage. The Chrysura Mela with Encore and Demolitionist. The Aikilos SMG Fee 103. Hold up. I just realized that you could just buy this. And then pull out a Deep Sight Harmonizer. And turn this into a Red Border. For whoever can't craft the Aikilos. <clears throat> Me. So, what I'm going to do is... I think I ran out of all six Deep Sight Harmonizers for this season. I'm probably going to just hold on to it. Buy five. And next season, when I get more Deep Sight Harmonizers from the Battle Pass, I'm going to use those to craft this and finally have an Aikilos with Volt Shot. GG's. Up next, we got the Timelines Vertex Fusion Rifle with auto-loading snapshots. Eh. We got the Path of Least Resistance with Stats for All and Volt Shot. The Barangers Memory with Field Prep and Demo. And the Seven Seraph Saw with Clown Cartridge and Firing Line. Nothing crazy except for the Aikilos. For our legendary armor, we got 66 gauntlets with 17 recovery and 15 strength. We got a 65 chest piece with 16 resilience and strength. Then we got a 65 helmet with 24 mobility and 23 intellect. And then we got 63 boots with 20 discipline and 18 mobility. For my hunters, we got 63 gauntlets with spread out stats. No one heard that voice crack. Then we got a 62 chest piece with 20 strength and 18 mobility. A 64 helmet with spread out stats. I mean, look at all those 10s. And then we got a 65 leg piece with 24 intellect and 17 mobility. I've seen better. And last but not least, for my Warlocks, we got 67 Gauntlets with 22 Recovery and 16 Strength. A 64 Chest Piece with 20 Discipline. 64 Helmet with 23 Resilience and 19 Discipline and 12 Intellect. This is a pretty decent roll. And last but not least, we got 67 Leg Armor with 22 Resilience and the rest are spread out. Well, that seems to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace!